Hey guys, it's Marlisa. I'm the Productive Babe here on YouTube and today I am coming at you guys with my September lineup video for 2022. So I'm just going to get right into it because I have a few kits that I want to share with you guys. Um, of course, as always, this is, you know, subject to change. This isn't really set in stone, but as of right now, um, I think I'm pretty happy with my lineup. So I don't anticipate that there will be any changes, but you know, just in case. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. Um, the first week that I'm marking for September is um, actually this week that I'm currently filming, August 29th through September 4th. I am counting that as the first week of September. Um, and for my kind of transition kit from, um, you know, August to September, summer to fall, I am going to be using the August 2022 Mystery from SPC. It is this coffee themed kit. Um, I feel like the colors, you know, since they are darker, obviously you can use, you know, a coffee kit um, at any time, really. It's definitely an anytime kit, but since the colors are, you know, kind of darker, I felt like it kind of um, went with maybe like September, so that is why I'm using it. I've talked about this before. I really love the artwork for this kit. I just don't love the colors. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I'm not a fan of like the super dark colors. I feel like um, a lot of the mysteries from SPC have kind of been the same colorways, like dark neutrals, which I mean is fine every now and then, but I'm definitely someone who likes brighter colors. Um, but yeah, I mean, I still like the artwork. Um, this artist I think is Dust Design, which is probably my favorite artist right now, honestly. I really love the way that she draws her people. Like, they just look so cute. They look like Disney characters. So, yeah, super in love with this art. Um, and yeah, just an overall good, you know, anytime coffee kit. I can never get enough of coffee kits. So, um, for the foil, I am going to be using the foil that came with it, which was actually a collab with Crest Press. And it is this coffee matte bronze foil. So we have our overlays, um, two pages of underlays. We have our scripts here, um, icons, date numbers, and then the washi. Um, super cute. I absolutely love that. And then um, I actually did pull out some extra boxes from Scribble Prints Co. because unfortunately this is in Crest Press's old format so there's not, not enough overlays. Okay, I'm sorry about that guys. I had to turn off my washing machine. It was starting to cycle while I was filming. Um, but yeah, I pulled out some extra like matte bronze um, just overlays from SPC just to substitute for that. Um, and then it did come with the doodle sampler which is in the same colorway as the kit. And yeah, so that is when I will be using this kit. Um, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not really impressed with a lot of the fall art that has come out this year, unfortunately, so I'm not really using a whole ton of fall kits, and you'll see that in this. Um, I'm mainly just kind of using, like, getting rid of my mysteries, basically. Um, so, yeah. Um, and it also came with a matte bronze little label sampler here. I forgot to show that, but... Uh, that is for the first week of September, and then moving on to the next week, September 5th through September 11th. Um, this is Labor Day week. Um, I'm going to be using the September 2021 Mystery. Again, this is like very similar in color to this one, but it's, you know, obviously a different theme. Um, and I have been wanting to use this kit ever since it came out last year. I'm in love with it. Um, but I just haven't really found the right moment to use it. Um, I mean, it's a movie-themed kit. There's not really any, like, movies that I'm going to anticipate, you know, seeing for that week. But, again, the colors, you know, since they are darker, it does remind me of fall a little bit. Um, and, yeah, just overall, I'm really, I really like this kit a lot. Um, even though it's uh, different from what I typically go for, um, I still really like the um the artwork so uh, i believe this mystery came with a silver foil bundle which i think i've already used but i did go ahead and purchase the um movie themed bundle actually it's called movie night it says it right there um in silver from crest press so we have our overlays our two pages of underlays again this is her older format um whoops we have our scripts there and then the washi so yeah um I mean, maybe I'll try seeing, like, some movies this week. I don't really know, but I just, I mean, it's an anytime kit, so, you know, you can use it whenever. 
And again, I think this is like olive green color and the browns kind of remind me of fall anyways. So even though it's not like a fall kit, but um, yeah, that is for that week. So moving on, uh, September 12th through, is that the 18th? Yeah, so okay, so here we go. Here's the fall kit. Um, I am using Stormy from Crest Press. This is like one of the very few fall um, kits that I saw that I really liked. Um, I just, I love this bed seam. Like I want to be there right now. Like it's just so pretty. Um, love the colors, you know, your traditional fall colors for sure. The orange, the like kind of burnt red color, the brown, really pretty. Um, I don't know if it's going to rain this week. Who knows? I mean, typically in September it rains a little bit, but I am in Texas, so we'll see. Super pretty. And then we have our, I did get the, I don't know, was this a freebie? No, I definitely purchased this. This tall box girl, like, she's so cute. And then the 15 millimeter washi and the, the bottom washi. This is like what I really loved about it. Um, yeah, definitely fall vibes. And then for the foil, I'm just keeping it simple and I'm going to be using gold. Oh, actually, I keep forgetting. I'm like getting ahead of myself here. Um, Here's the extra box, and I think I purchased this fashion girl. Um, but for foil, I'm just gonna use gold. I think this is, yeah, Confetti 2.0 from Caress Press. Obviously, you guys have seen that before. Nothing special, just, you know, standard gold kit. I feel like that's gonna look the best um, with this kit. So yeah, super excited about that one. And then for September 19th through the 25th, um, I am using another mystery. So this is the July mystery from SPC for this year. And again, this is another movie themed kit as you can see, but I feel like I can work around the boxes to make it not movie themed. That way I'm not using like two movie kits in one month, but I just really think that the colors of this kit like remind me of September, like especially this plaid green box and like this kind of color right here um so like I definitely won't be using the um movie night kit let me see where is it did I already pass it yeah so like this kit I'm just gonna like not use that one um I think I can yeah I'm definitely not using the tall box I feel like I can get away with like the other boxes and it can just kind of be like a fall outdoorsy kit instead of like a, another movie kit so probably won't use this um just because there's like a child in it and I don't really want children in my planner to be honest with you but yeah I feel like I can make it work to where it definitely looks more like fall vibes especially with the colors of this kit um and then for the foil it did come with the um rose gold I think this is sparkle um so yeah I think rose gold is like a really, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to change the foil. I think rose gold was the perfect way to go, especially with like the pink in the kit. I think it's going to really bring that out. Um, so love that. And then last but not least, uh, for September 26th through October 2nd, I wanted to kind of use a good like transition shade or not a transition shade when I talk about makeup here. No, transition kit from September to October. So still kind of fall themed, but also like kind of Halloween. And I am in love with the August mystery from Caress Press, the petals and potion. Um, I think that this is going to be the perfect transition kit for September to fall, just because it does have like the fall floral elements. I love the pop of color in this kit. Um, but then it also, some of the boxes, you know, kind of give like witchy vibes. Um, so it's a very like subtle Halloween kit, I feel. Um, here's what it looks like. This cauldron here definitely, obviously is giving me witchy vibes. And then like this kit, obviously this girl right here. Um, yeah, super pretty. And then I, I just love this color. And then this box is so pretty. Like, look at that purple. Oh, I'm in love. Um, also, I think Hocus Pocus comes out this week. So that kind of works too, right? Um, with the witches. I didn't want to use like any of the Hocus Pocus 
themed kits that came out just because that, that's like too specific for me and you guys know I don't really like pop culture kits I kind of prefer to just keep it seasonal um but yeah and then for the foil I really like I said I really love this like purpley like magenta color that's kind of peeking through here and so I pulled out this um hibiscus the, the color is hibiscus um but the format is daisy from Cress Press and I just want to show you guys like I feel like this color and this color like are almost a perfect match and I just think that that's going to be so freaking pretty like I am obsessed like I seriously cannot wait to put this down already let me see, you can probably see better with the washi page. Yeah, like, look at that, so pretty. So yeah, I'm very excited to use a fun foil. Actually, I'm very excited with um, all of the foils that I'm using for, you know, this month because they're all different. Like I have gold, I have rose gold, um, I have silver, I have matte bronze, and then I have that fun foil color from Crest Press, so. Yeah, let me just lay everything out so you guys can see here. Um, but yeah, let me know if we are twinning for any of our weeks. If you guys are going to be using the same kit. I'm very um, curious to know what kits you guys are going to be using for September. Because for me, it was really, really hard for me to pick my September lineup. Like, this is probably one of the hardest months um, of the year so far like I really didn't know what I was going to use so that's why I kind of decided to just like use as many of my mysteries that I can just to kind of get through them but yeah definitely let me know if you guys enjoyed this video that way I know if you guys want to see a lineup for next month as well and don't forget to like comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I will see you guys in the next one bye